in this video i will talk about specific resistivity and its unit we know that the resistance of a material changes proportionally with the length of the conductor and the resistor is inversely proportional to the cross sectional area now if i merge these two relationship i will get r proportional to l by a now if i want to take out this proportional sign i will get a proportional constant let's say i have denoted that with rho l by a this rho will indicate a proportional constant which will be known as specific resistivity now from this relationship we can define our specific resistivity of a material let's say i have taken a wire whose length is equal to 1 meter whose cross sectional area a equal to 1 meter square therefore i will get specific resistivity rho equal to r now what does it mean the specific resistivity of a material is the resistance offered by a 1 meter of wire of material having a cross sectional area of 1 meter square okay now let's say i have a cube here each side of the cube has a length of 1 meter this is the length it will have a length of 1 meter see if i take a cross section now if i cut it like this i will get a rectangular box or a square box here therefore our cross sectional area will be equal to 1 meter into 1 meter a will be equal to 1 meter into 1 meter which will be equal to 1 meter square now see this is a face of this cube and this is another face of this cube and between them we have a length of 1 meter now in case of this cube i can define the specific resistivity like this a specific resistivity of a material may be defined as the resistance between two opposite faces of a meter cube of the material now what is the unit of this specific resistivity see i can write specific resistivity rho equal to r into a by L. now this a has a unit of 1 meter square or meter square this length has a unit of meter and the resistance has a unit of ohm therefore i will get ohm into meter square divided by meter which will give us a value of ohm meter therefore the unit of this specific resistivity will be equal to ohm meter now i will show you specific resistivity of different material let's say i am talking about copper it is a metal it has a specific resistivity of 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter if i talk about iron it is also a metal it has an it has a specific resistivity of 9.68 into 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter let's say i am talking about pure silicon which is a semiconductor the specific resistivity of this semiconductor is 2.5 into 10 to the power 3 ohm meter if i talk about let's say insulator glass it has a specific resistivity of 10 to the power 10 to 10 to the power 14 now you will see the specific resistivity of metals are very small because they are good electricity conductor but in case of the insulator you will see the insulators have large resistivity as they hardly conduct any current through it okay therefore therefore the smaller the value of the specific resistivity of a material it will be a better conductor of current okay